All right, Jay, let's talk about how, how cool this is to be back here at South Alabama again for a game like this. You played in this game, and all, this is also your campus. Is it a little homecoming for you? Yeah, no, for sure. It's a, it's a cool experience to be able to sit back and watch after, you know, I just participated in it last year. Uh, of course, I got some teammates and brothers that are playing in it, so it's cool to be here to support them and also be able to catch up with my college coaches and, you know, family that's here. So it's a cool experience to come home for a little, bo- little while, get away, and get ready for, you know, going to the offseason. And for years, it was always, you know, a lot of Alabama guys, Auburn, and they still are. But to have, you know, your school, South Alabama, be represented in the guys this year, what does that mean for your school to be not only have the game here, but have some participants? Uh, no, it's awesome. And that was a goal of mine, too, is just kind of continue to pave the way like the guys ahead of me did, like Jeremy Reeves, who's, you know, he's not here right now. He would be. He's in the Pro Bowl. So uh, just being able to have those guys older paved the way, and then I, you know, wanted to continue and pave the way for guys like Jalen Wayne and, you know, Darrell Luter that are playing here, and they're going to pave it for younger guys that's in South. So just continue to trend and continue to, you know, get our school on the map and help out with recruiting, help out with, you know, the atmosphere. And, you know, obviously it'll bring a different want out of players too, knowing that you have the opportunity to get to, you know, the Senior Bowl or Combine, get drafted whatever the case may be so it's awesome you had uh, nine there's nine guys drafted last year in your draft class with the Cowboys six of them played in this game you were one of those six did you did you get to meet some of those guys and so when they were drafted you're like you had kind of connected with them here yeah not for sure I knew Sam before Sam was training with me at pre-draft so we we were like literally neighbors in our like housing space um, we trained every day together Jake Ferguson I met him down here and you know um, Damone was on my team, so I talked with Damone all the time before he, you know, his injury situation. But you know, like I said, I learned a lot from everybody that was out here, whether they were on our team or other teams. And you, you continue to keep those bonds as you go throughout the league as well. How would you assess your rookie year with with the, with the Cowboys? Obviously, you probably wanted to be on the field more, more catches, and all that. But you, is there something you can kind of take from that and building into next year? Yeah, no, for sure. Uh, I think everything is a learning experience, and so you know, as people look at this past year as a down year for me, or you know, whatever you know, the word may be out there. But for me, you know, I learned a lot. I'm, you know, I learned what I need to do to be elite talent at this at this next level in the league, and help out our team next year and so I'm excited for the off season, you know, as well as the coaches are for me and to be able to take that next step and have a good jump from year one to year two. So I'm excited to go in and, you know, have a different feel and know exactly what I need to do was asked of me, you know, and be able to be comfortable and just play play like I play here at South and just, you know, have that confidence. So I'm excited for like I said the off season and going to next year and, you know, continue to grow. You've done that before. I think I was looking at your stats your freshman year. You had maybe eight or nine catches, and then you've been up to 50s and 60s, 80s, and all that. So what is it about that first year? Is, it, is there a mindset, a confidence, of like, all right, I'm going to walk in in the offseason? Uh, yeah, I think, you know, with, with every step you take, you know, you go into a different, different view of – you know, life, different view of football. And like I said, I went to a different league where I had to learn, you know, the business side of stuff. I had to learn, you know, positional sides of things, playing multiple positions. I had to do a lot of stuff. And so with me being able to learn that and get get a grip on it, you know, throughout practice and throughout learning from older guys like CD and MG and those guys, you know, now I know what, what to work on, what I need to work on, what I need to do, where I need to be at, what positions I need to know, like everything. So now I can go into this next year and, you know, not have to learn and play at the same time, but just go out there and just be comfortable, be confident and play and show, you know, why I got drafted. I think there was some talk that you were trying to learn a lot of positions and then you got hurt that might have set you back. But in the big picture, is it better that you can learn more multiple positions? That's probably, it may, it may have stunted the growth early, but it'll help you. Yeah, no, for sure. And that's one thing, like I said, the coaches are excited about me just being able to retain the information and play three to four positions. Uh, so, you know, just being able to play inside and out is definitely going to help me in the long run. And like I said, this rookie year was by far the worst that I've had and far from what I wanted for myself. But, you know, I know that I needed it and God knows that I needed it and the coaches know that I needed it. So it was a good time for me to be able to adjust and get a grip for all positions. And, you know, in the future I can play inside out, go wherever it's asked of me, play wherever they ask me to play. So I'm excited to continue to grow there and just continue to work. You stay for the whole game all week? You stay all week for the game? Uh, yeah, I'm going to go come to the game with my parents on Saturday and come check it out and just be home and then go back, get ready to go to work in a couple weeks. Awesome. Yep. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. Thank you. Yep.